Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Mario Tennis Ace main theme from Nintendo Switch, okay? It's really awesome, give you a preview of the main theme you're going to learn, it goes like this, check it out. Okay, and then you can add extra stuff to make it bigger after that. Something like this. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we go. Let's break it up into parts to learn it. Let's break it up into four parts to so easier to learn. So the first part goes like this. Right hand starts on the C sharp here. Middle C is here for reference. We go up an octave to this C. It's a C sharp there. It goes C sharp, D, C sharp, up to E, D, C sharp. And that's the right hand for the first part. Okay, one more time for this first part. So it goes C sharp, D, C sharp, up to E, D, C sharp. And that's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that right hand for the first part, left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are two A major chords, which is A, C sharp, E. So two of these A major chords. Okay, so with the two A major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, C sharp and A major together, so together, E and A major together, like that, just like that. One more time for this first part, so it goes together, together, like that. Okay, very important for the right hand rhythm actually, you have to remember throughout all the parts, it's always the same rhythmic pattern. It's always like this two dotted um, notes followed by normal notes. It's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's always like three, three, twos every single time. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and all the other parts are the same rhythm, okay? So that's something for you to take note of because that's the main rhythm, okay? Anyway, that's the first part. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues exactly the same right hand notes as the first part so C sharp D C sharp E D C sharp the only difference is the left hand instead of two A major chords this time it's two G major chords which is G B D so two of them as well okay so with the two G major chords in mind this time the second part is exactly the same but just with the G major chords so together together and that's it for the second part pretty simple okay do it again so it goes together together that's the second part so yeah that's it remember second part is just the same as the first part with the exception of the left hand chords from a major to g major okay so the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this check it out okay moving on to the third part third part right hand continues okay after the c sharp goes down to the a b c natural and then d c sharp d and that's the third part for the right hand. So one more time, it goes A, B, C, D, C sharp, D. And that's the right hand for this third part. Okay, once you get the third part for the right hand, left hand, this time we have two different chords here. So it goes F major, which is F, A, C. And then the second chord changes to G major, which is G, B, D. So this time it's not the same as the first and second part where it's like double of the same chord. This time it's like two different chords. So F major and G major. So yeah. With these two chords in mind for the third part, the two hands together goes like this for the third part. So A and F major together, D and G major together, like that. Yeah, but you can see in all the parts, it's always the same rhythmic pattern, the placement of the chords and the melody, okay? So anyway, one more time, like together, together, like that. Okay, and that's that for the third part. Okay, so back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be played like this, check it out. So it goes together, together, like that. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand, it goes three Ds, so one, two, three, and three C sharps. One, two, three, like that. One more time, so three Ds, so one, two, three, and three C sharps, like that. It's the same rhythm again, okay? Left hand this time, we have two chords. The two chords are A suspension fourth chord, which is A, D, E. Followed by second chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Okay, so these two chords in mind, so A suspension four and A major. The two hands together goes like this, D and A suspension four together. C sharp and A major together. Like that. Okay, one more time like this. Together. Together. 
just like that, okay? So yeah, back to back, all four parts would be played like this, check it out. That's it, repeat it. Okay, yeah, so after you get this, so uh, what I just did for the left hand, just you can add rhythmic patterns to make it sound a little bit more interesting. So I just did it to the exact same rhythm as the right hand, but you can do other stuff to it. For example, the left hand, you can add like these octaves and arpeggio accompaniment patterns. Okay, that I teach in my um, piano website, piano courses, so you can actually learn it. But yeah, you can do something uh, where the left hand does uh, octaves and then do all these variations of arpeggio patterns and right hand can combine the melody with the chordal harmonies as well, something like this. Yeah, so a lot of variations you can play around with. It's a pretty simple theme, so have fun learning this awesome theme, okay? So if you like this theme, if you like Nintendo Switch theme, go ahead. I did a few other ones as well. I did the Super Smash uh, Ultimate main theme as well, so you can check that out as the cover and the tutorial as well. And I also did like Breath of the Wild main theme as well. So go ahead. A lot of stuff for you to enjoy on this channel. Not just that, there's like literally multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos for you to enjoy. And as I said before, check out my website if you want to learn more about how to play by ER, improvise reading sheet music and stuff. It's linked in the description below. It's called Best pianomethod.com so check out my website as well if you want to learn from me but anyway that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services as for now enjoy your time around my channel subscribe and See you next time.